Hello and welcome to the December edition of the Lions Roar. I'm Gage. And I'm Elena. Thanks for joining us this month. We have some important things to mention, so let's go right into it. And now the, uh, the Christmas holiday. Students will be allowed to wear red and green on Friday, December 14th. Students who want to dress down must be one dollar. Speaking of Christmas break is scheduled for December 24, January 4 class will resume on January 7th. There's an early dismissal schedule for Tuesday, December 11th. Students will be dismissed at 1.20 p.m. We will also be running an early dismissal schedule on Friday, December the 21st for our biggest event of the year, the Bike Giveaway. Let's send it over to Destiny with an update. Oh, that Destiny. Thanks, Gage. This year, Bike Giving Away is set to be the biggest one yet. We have dozens of bikes already pouring in, in from all over the community. Remember, teachers will be looking for students who have shown integrity, grit and teamwork as well as strong academic to be entered in the giveaway. I'm Destiny reporting live for the right Thanks so much for that update, Destiny. I don't know about you, but I can't see. Wait to see who will be getting bikes this year. Me either. You know there are lots of big events going on in the city for the holidays. Let's send it over to Darnell with our DVR report, Darnell. Hey there, Gage. I'm Darnell, and here's what's going on in the Donsonville. The Christmas parade is scheduled for Saturday, December 15th at 1.30 p.m. Right after follow will be Christmas in the park. There will be lots of family and fun. We hope to see you all there. I'm Donna and, and that's what your DVO report. Thanks, Donnell. Now, let's see how Miss Peachy plans to keep us fit over this hot, long holiday break. Miss Peachy. Hey guys, it's Miss Peachy. I'm back again for your December fitness tips. I'm back with Trevion and Rashad. Today we're going to demonstrate for you two exercises. The first one is going to be plank walks. The way that you'll do that is you'll get down, you'll get in that push-up position with your back flat, and you're going to do walks to the right, four of them. You'll go one, two, three, and four. Then you'll go back to the left, one, two, three, and four. Our second exercise is going to be mountain climbers. This is going to be a good core workout and it's also going to help you work out some of that turkey that you made for Thanksgiving and it's going to actually improve your heart health. So the way that you do that is you're going to get in that push-up position and you're going to tuck your knees into your stomach and alternate your feet. You can go as fast or slow as you would like. Okay, LOE, let's challenge you for December using our plank walks and our mountain climbers. You're going to do an exercise every minute on the minute. First, you're going to start your stopwatch. At minute number one, you'll do four plank walks to the right and four plank walks to the left. You're going to rest for the remaining of the minute. On minute number two, you are going to do 20 mountain climbers. Then you're going to rest for the remaining of the minute. For minute number three, you're going to go back and do those plank walks. You'll do four to the right, four to the left, minute four. You're going to do 20 mountain climbers, minute five, back to those planks, and minute six, you're going to finish with 20 mountain climbers. And this is Miss Petrie with your December fitness tips. Bye, guys. Thanks, Miss Petrie. I'm sure we can use those tips. Stay fit while we can eat all of, all of that holiday food. This month, we have a special interview with LE's students of this year. Let's turn it over to Kayvon with a special report. Thank you. I am here with Brennan Dags, Lori Elementary 2018-2019 Student of the Year. Brennan will be competing on the district level, level on Friday, December 7th. 
We here at the Lions Roar went, want to wish you good luck. So tell us, Brendan, what does it feel like to be Student of the Year? Um, as Student of the Year, it feels like a, an accomplishment by winning, but it's all, it, and it's like amazing to feel this. It's like an accomplishment to your family, your friends, your school, and when you're on the district level, it gets more harder, but you're, well, at the same time, your school is still rooting for you to win. How competitive you think is, is going to be? When you compete <laughs> with the school, like our school, it's already hard because there's all this work you have to do, and you never know who will win. So I think the district will be more harder because from the school's work, it was already hard. Okay. So, so did you have to put a lot of work into this? Yes. I had to put a lot of work into it. There was an essay, an interview. We had to do a lot of things while we were competing. I'm so happy to be interviewing Brennan Dax today. He was the student of the year. Now let's send it back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Kayvon. And and other news, our field graders have begun and no violence campaigns. Let's go to Nyla with this month's tips on how we solve conflict Nyla. Thank you, Malaya. I'm here this month with our conflict resolution tips. Fighting is never the answer, so here are some ways to solve your problems without violence. Get calm first. Wait until you are calm before addressing a conflict. Take some time to cool off and breathe. Ignore or walk away. This works good when dealing with someone that is annoying you. Find a win-win solution. Brainstorm a solution or make a deal where everyone feels heard and that their voices and needs matter. Share or take turns. Everyone wins. Use an I message. Say how you feel what you hope for and how you want to be treated. For example, I felt when or I would like blank or I want blank. Play a game of chance like rock, paper, scissors, or flip a coin. Do something else like play another game. Listen with an open heart. Listen to the other person without interrupting or judgment. Try to put yourself in their shoes. Ask for help. Get help if you feel unsafe or have tired or have tried two or three of these strategies and still feel stuck. Say words that mean no. Use a strong and respectful voice to say that you are not okay with something. Apologize. Saying you are sorry when you make a mistake helps to make repairs. I'm Nala and those were the conflict resolution tips. Thank you for that Nala. I know those tips were coming in next time I have a problem. Also going on around the school, our third graders work very hard on some book reports. Let's see how they turned out. job third grade. We're su super proud of the things you guys are doing on the 700 Hall. Oh, well that does it for the uh, this edition of the Lion's Roar. We will see you all next month.